Greetings, YouTube. Danny Staten here on the Daddy Dan blog. And maybe the fat comic book guy, too, because this comic book video might make it to both channels one day. Yep, it's true. Because I'm taking a look at a bongo comic. I've never even had a bongo comics. This is number six. It's The Simpsons. And we're going to go to a talent show with Lisa and Bart. And we're going to do all kind of cool Simpsons things. And let me show you something really weird about this comic book. It's a double comic book. You got The Simpsons on one side, number six, from 1997. And on the back, upside down, you get Chief Wiggins, pre-code number one, Crime comics as they look for El Bardo, as El Bardo is tagging the town and must be stopped. So, with no long out, drug out themes or no more bull, we'll open up the comic book and get started. And of course, inside the front cover, you're going to get a commercial for some Bart Simpson screensaver crap that cost you 30 bucks back in the day. And then we're going to kick off the comic with an illicit love. Affair. Oh, but between groundskeeper Willie and some ugly teacher who are falling in love. And in full panels brought to you by the Daily Dan blog, we learn the names of the people we can blame for the dismal nightmare that is about to be incurred upon us in full panels brought to you by the Daily Dan blog. Yeah, that's right. Bart pretending to be the principal. His little buddy pretending to be the groundskeeper. The teacher's all upset. That's right. They're going to be shooting each other. What a talent show. Help. Everybody's angry at Bart for the crime committed in his talent show. Wow. And yet this dismal torture goes on. As, as, as Lisa going to go out to the talent show and jam with her incredibly cool saxophone. But she's ill. And she complains. And she screams. And she hollers. Ladies and gentlemen. There is absolutely no reason to do this song. <laughs> but she does it anyway. Blah, la, 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 and she bursts out a jamming jazz that gets her drug from the stage. Wow, the excitement in this Simpsons comic book is overwhelming. Yeah, overwhelming, giving you a headache. Okay, my head feels a little better now. I took a handful of ibuprofen to help get me through this. Anyway, so it's on TV and it's on the news. Lisa getting drug out. Lisa's depressed. Lisa going to head out to the Springfield Mall, dragging her big-ass saxophone with her. Lisa going to find a place where you can record yourself discountedly. She goes in and pays him five bucks to make her little song. Lisa enters the studio. Lisa takes out the saxophone. Lisa rocks the saxophone. She jams. And there's a lot of people standing outside waiting, waiting. Yes, they all want to re got some good art. They all want to record their little song. Even, even this goofy guy. Ugh. Anyway, they record it all. They make some blank tapes. They record Lisa's song. Everybody falls in love with her music. So Otto takes his sample, which he don't know got mixed up with Lisa's, out to the studio. He gives him a really cool kitty cat back scratcher to play his song. But he's going to play his song anyway. He snaps it in and starts it playing as crap from Otto Box. Yeah, Otto's going to give this guy a lot of crap he don't want. He throws it in. He begins to jam. Lisa discovers that her tape is blank. What happened to my demo? What happened to my demo? She does not understand. But as she turns on the radio on her way to school that morning, she is astounded to hear her song blasting out of the radio. And in full panels, brought to you by the Daddy Dan Blog. This goofy... No, I didn't go say that. Ned Flanders, here's the music. Coming out the windows of the house. Tat get a tattoo. Sideshow Bob, here's the music. Little criminal kids bullying each other. Suddenly they hear the music. The music is everywhere. The, the reporters are talking about this music. The reporter can't understand how this song is so awesome. And Otto's getting credit for it. Oh, my goodness. Lisa is furious. As the reporter goes on talking about Otto's awesomeness, Lisa blows a fuse.
So in full panels brought to you by the Daddy Dan blog, the excitement goes on and on as Lisa complains to her dad. She complains to her brother. She takes auto. She goes to see auto. Everybody thought it was going to hear auto play the saxophone at the auto concert, but auto begins to jam and blah, 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 blah. He is booed off the stage. He is thrown to the side. Lisa jumps the crowd, bouncing on people's head, heading for her saxophone. Lisa grabs her saxophone. And begins to jam. And the crowd goes wild with excitement. And in what is totally cool of a Simpsons comic book, you get this incredible full page centerfold with Otto and Lisa jamming and all the cool Simpsons artwork for potential comic book covers of the future. Hey, look, it's Kenny's dad. Kenny's dad is in my comic book. You would think a guy with a channel called Fat Comic Book Guy would buy a Simpsons comic book. That actually had the Fat Comic Book Guy in it. Not. No, it's got the gangster guy. It's got the old, the old jazz musician guy. It's got the bus driver. It's got Lisa. It's got everything going on as the old jazz guy comes to hear Lisa play and is all, all in love with her music. As Lisa heads off to school the next morning. She confronts Otto with that tape thing, accusing him of stealing it, but Otto says it was a mistake. And they screech off to school, all happy. And friends, the end. And then we get the greatest commercial for a comic book ever. Homer Simpson becomes the Atomic Flash. Atom Flash! I'm going to make a single video about that. Yes. Anyway, moving right along, you can get the bongo beat, and this is all the really cool things you could learn from bongo. I've never had a bongo, so I'll go real slow. So Marone, my good friend Michael Marone, from Matt Troisi Keto and Wrestling Channel, can 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 read all this stuff, but but, but because Michael Marone's an idiot. Hey, look. Good luck, Matt. Best wishes. Matt! <laughs> oh, the nightmare never stops. We get junk mail. Junk mail to the Simpsons that the Daily Dan will not be reading today. You can take this. You can take this opportunity to pause. And that's some really cool Lisa Fairy art and Peter Pan looking stuff. That, that's pretty cool, right? Yeah. That, 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 that is really cool no matter what anybody says. I'm ah, moving right along, Marone. I'm going to go kind of quick now, Marone. You may have to pause in sections as you read through this incredibly long, boring, boring Simpsons junk mail call. And I know why they call it junk mail. <laughs> Because it's really some junk mail. Uh, that just going to give me a nightmare. Uh, and you get some really cool Simpsons art down here at the bottom. Ain't that special? Oh, and this junk mail is the epitome of torture. As we see the Dracula, Bart Simpson style. <laughs> some scenes from the Treehouse of Terror as the reading continues on. And on. Uh, and on, and on, and on, and on, and on. I hate to read, and you fast forward through this part. Ah, it's baby Lisa. That ain't baby Lisa. It's baby Maggie. Ah, ah check it out, Bart. Bart. Bart's a bad one. Bart's on a motorcycle. Bart is born to be free. Ah, check out Sasha. That's how Bob chasing Bart the squirrel. That's Bart is a squirrel. And some really cool little art knit pickets inside of tons of junk, junk mail that I wish wasn't even in here. What the heck? It went upside down again. Greetings, YouTube. Danny's Dan, standing here on the Danny Dan blog and maybe the fat comic book guy.
Channel 2. I'm taking a look at number one, October of 1997. It's a bongo comic book. It's Chief Wiggum's pre-crime code comics. That's right. Chief Wiggum's is on the case as he's tracking the incredible El Bardo as El Bardo is the mystery tagger tagging the town. Tell me, Day Sunstorm of the Day Sunstorm channel here on YouTube. Is this crap the good stuff? Hey, Pat McCormick at the Golden Ranger TV Retro. Is, is this the good stuff? Let me know. And I'll still give a shout to my friend Thrash Pondo Pines, my partner in crime, soon to be on videos with me. Wow. And our good friend Ian over at Retro Serial. And let's don't forget to give a shout out to Stephen Sunstorm, Dave's incomparable brother. Now that I got that out of the way, let's open this book up. Inside the front cover, more Simpsons commercials. And other than that big, big, long junk mail call, I'll give credit. These bongo comics have no commercials in them. It's bad when it's so small, you got to read it through the camera. Okay, Chief Wiggums and his two deputies are on the case. They're trying to find out who tagged. Mr. Burns' car. Who tagged Mr. Burns' wife? Who poured a pile of cow poop out for Chief Wiggins to fall in? As he falls in it, he sees somebody running. He sees the criminal guy running with the money. That must be El Bardo, he hollers, and they go after him. Now, how do they get this guy confused with El Bardo tagging stuff, running around with a bag of money? Nah, that's some Simpson stuff. This guy's fast. He's running. These idiots couldn't catch themselves. Oh, my God. <laughs> Criminal guy runs into Bart Simpson. Bart Simpson sprays him in the face with his can. As the police show up, they find a can of spray paint and a guy with a red face. And El Bardo goes to jail. Caught with the evidence. What wonderful police they are. The end as Bart sneaks over and takes the police car as they leave. And that's the end. That's a short story. And then it's back to, okay, I guess that's a wrap. So that's my look at one of the weirdest comic books I've ever seen. It's Simpsons Comics, number six on one side, from 1997 from Bongo Comics. And if you turn it over, you get true crime comics with Chief Wiggins hunting down Al Bardo in that four-page story on the backside of a comic book. Ah, be sure to let me know what you think about this one in the comic book, in the comments below. Be sure to let me know. Yeah, just let me know what you thought, okay? I I'm really disappointed in this comic book. It's not what I thought it would be. And it's, I bought it for this cover here, and I thought there was going to be some crime stuff, and it turned out to be this, and I just want to pull my hair out. Well, I guess we know which side I'll be putting on the wall. Well, anyway, if you like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. And if you give it a thumbs down, I don't blame you. Be sure to... Check me out next time when I'll probably do a much better comic book. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for me. And until next time, for Chief Wiggins and The Simpsons and a comic book that has no fat comic book guy in it. Oh, oh my God, really. Blog over, dudes.